they rumbled into the square early Sunday morning. But it was... Shalom, uh, honor, praise, and glory be to the Heavenly Father, my Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Wahakwadash Rokah, Rokah, double honors to the apostles and elders, or Salakia, the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, forgiving me the Holy Spirit to be able to come back with another lesson on hopefully something that can be edifying, exhorting, admonishing, reproving, instructing. Correcting, teaching, defending and, pre defending and preaching the gospel. Just all around, um, just all around prophesying. And uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone of Yahshua Allah, Israel. And double honors to all the elect elders that are slated to be saved, as well as the entire conglomerate slated to be saved from the destruction that's currently coming upon this earth, this globe, you know, increasing, you know, according to the Bible and increasing. You know, as the minutes go on, and chiefly, it's coming to and upon America and to all the wicked inhabitants hereof, and those being slaves to be saved, according to the Bible, being none, none other than the elect Israelites, you know, the Israelites, those, uh, the elect, but the Israelites who today are being known as by words such as, according to the Bible, such as, Black, African American, Negro, West Indian, Latino, Hispanic, Native American, Indian, Seminole Indian, so-called Black Hebrew Israelites, and so-called Afro people scattered abroad. The men of these people that have repented and turned and, and are now teaching the true doctrine of the Bible, the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and are living a life according to it in truth and sincerity. And the men, women, and children also of these people that have um repented. AKA turn back to their true heritage, which is the true doctrine of the Bible, the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, now living their life according to it as well. And these people would be the one third, all right? Shalom to those people, whoever they may be. To you, Shalom. So, this is uh, a lesson I'm going to title Time Will Tell or um, yeah, time will tell, and that's in wake of, you know, an image I was pretty much meditating on, and obviously a conversation that I was having with a brother, and, um, and a continuous, you know, occurrence of this, uh, moment when, you know, one for four, and whatever form pops up on the clock, you know, you see it, you see it somewhere, you know, just constantly in a sequence and it's usually always on the clock, you know, but, you know, you may see the numbers here and there and that just brings to mind what 144, the elect, man, you know, the, uh, which is the highest conceivable office, uh, possible of you know status and approval in the world to come which is the world of Jacob when the Messiah Yahweh by Yahweh in the name Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah brings the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah on earth in which the Israelites are to rule um in the highest office of approval for an Israelite then is the one for four you know, the 144.4. And it's probably a lot of things that come to your mind, you know, when you see that on the clock, but that's what comes to mind. And that's um, what that is, you know, when you go into the thought of the 144,000 of, you know, Yahweh Bashem Shah, who people regularly call Jesus and Christ, or Jesus Christ and God. And it's, it's just something I really want to just speak on. You know, uh, 
you know, hit a couple, hit a few points, and that's just time will tell, man. You, cause you, you probably get the thought like, man, uh, man, my other hundred four four thousand, am I gonna make it? Uh, this is, is this a, uh, uh, some ammunition, some exhortation, for uh, you know, for me to get up, get going, or you know, reminder, or is it just some strengthening, some comforting? You know, what is it? Well, you got a saying called called time time tells, and that's actually you know expressed in the scriptures as well too as being a valid thing so let's go ahead and um go into this real quick so first let me kick it off with this um when you go into the word elect strong's g 1588 eclectos eclectos or electos but um it's those that are chosen the elect those that follow the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because it says Christians who are the Hamashiachim, those that follow the Hamashiach, or those that have followed Hamashiach, Ha being the Mashiach being Messiah in Hebrew, but Christians are called chosen or elect of God. The Messiah is called elect as appointed by God to the most exalted office conceivable it says choice select an example the best of its kind so this is the best of the israelites or class excellent preeminent so these are the top of the top these are the top men because we know according to revelation the 14th chapter that those that will be of the 144,000 are all men 12,000 from each tribe all right governing body it says applied to certain individual christians see that hamashiachim so that's the 144,000 just off top all right now let's go ahead and prove that the time t now you, you think like well it's, it's, it's you might see the time you might see the clock you might think well is this what this is telling me is who I am. Is this some reminder or some words of com some comforting right now by the spirit? Is it a warning? Uh, is it telling me what's really going on if I'm distracted and, you know, what I need to, you know, not worry about because it's only about this. Like what? These are thoughts that come, you know, to my mind. All right. And uh, time tells, man. Time will tell. Time will tell. And let's see this in the scriptures. All right, so I'm gonna say less and go ahead and get into it. Well, first, let me say, Job 7 and 1. Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Are not his days like an hireling? So an appointed time. So the scripture is giving credence and reverence to time and the time being appointed. All right, and it's the time when you what? Uh, the time is appointed. The appointed time is the set duration on your life. And you can clearly see that what people leave in at different ages. And then the sayings come out, the worldly sayings, like it was just his time to go, etc. That's an appointed time. And that does what? That's an that does what? That gives credence to the 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 uh the lesson, which is what time tells, man. Time will tell. See that? So I'm going to get my next scripture. This is Job 14 and 14. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, all the days of my appointed time will I wait. So Job really understood this, all right? Till my change come. So this is another instance of, you know, the scriptures giving reverence to time, credence to time. Let me read it one more time. Job 14 and 14. If a man die, shall he live again all the days of my appointed time? Will I wait till my change come? So he understood reincarnation. That's what this is obviously going into, but that's not the point. He said, um, so you could take that, um, all in the credence to just going into reincarnation on a further level, which is him trying to find out something further. But he wouldn't be able to find out the furtherance of the thought he was having until that time comes, which is what? That change. But he said he has to 
wait. He's going, he has to wait all the days of his appointed time and duration he's been given on his life over and over, basically, until what? Until his change comes, because it's going into a further level, which I don't have to speak to, because that's not really the point. But that change he's waiting on, he won't know until the time comes, man. So that's another instance of time telling. All right? Time will tell. So let me get one more. This is Psalms 41 and 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. So, obviously, trouble showing you what. Uh, that's a time when the Lord needs to deliver you. So, see that? So, that's the, another instance of what the scriptures giving credence to the whole notion that time tells, man. You see, time tells what needs to have ha happen. I mean, you're in a situation of trouble. You're in a moment of, of trouble, of time of trouble. So that tells, that's proof telling you that you need to be delivered, delivered, man. So time tells, man. See that? Time is going to tell. Time is going to tell, man. You know, it's not necessarily just going to be you individually, but it's going to be time telling, all right? Which would include you, all right? But what I want to do now is get the word time. When you go into time, you get your womb. And it's another word for it as well. We'll get this one for now. Day, time, year. Day as opposed to night. 24-hour uh, period. Working day, a day's journey, day's lifetime, period. Uh, temporal temporal references see that temporal references we're gonna go back to that it says or from it says from sunrise to sunset it says from one sunset to the next or figurative a space of time defined by an associated term. Presently remain it. So time, the, the concept of time is the encapsulation, encapsulation of all these things. All right. And I want to get the better one. But this is a real good one. Mm. And we're going to come back to that. <laughs> This is another scripture. This is Psalms 102 and 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Because everything, because the scriptures tell us to everything there is a, uh, to everything there is a time, man. To every purpose and thing there is a time. You know, given paraphrasing, which I'll get. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So, to every uh, thing, uh, there is a season and a time to every purpose under. Uh, so, for, for everything, it's a certain season for it. This one is, uh, you know, expedient. And a time, every purpose, is ha it has a time. You know, so if it's a certain purpose you have, it's a time for it. You, if you want to, I give this a simple example a lot. You know, wash your car. The best time, the time to do that is when it's not raining. See that? So, you know, and 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 and, it, and the car wash got a deal on it or something like that. That's a good time to do that. But anyway, going back, Psalms one hundred and forty one, Psalms one hundred and two. And 13, thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time is come. See, because to every purpose, there is a time, man. You know, if the Lord has purpose to save, you know, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. Um, but to every purpose, there is a time. So the time will be 
when you're in a time of Jacob's trouble, man. You see that? When these people are coming down on us and, uh, you know, that great, that great wrath, the, the fire of a great multitude is kindled over us, man. When we're in a position where we need completely, complete spiritual power because tanks and missiles and, uh, you know, all type of toxic fumes and technology and ammunition is 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 hauled out is brought out all the arms of esau are brought brought out and it's against the so-called blacks latinos and native american indians that have repented in our in yahweh basham yahushah that's the time to favor you know what i'm saying us and that's obviously the set time because every perp that's a purpose but every purpose has a time given to it and that's set in the heavens. See, that's the set time. So thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time is come. Now, let's go ahead and get that word time real quick. This word uh, time is, is critical. And then I got to get the other one. This is Psalms 102 and 13. We're getting the word time. And the word right here is Ibath. And it, mean, and it means time of an event. Experiences. See how that correlates to what we're going into? When you see that 144, that's what? An experience, man. That's an experience. A occurrence. An occasion. Fortunes. You know, what is an occurrence? Occurrence. An incident or event. So in the event of you seeing that number 144 you see what i'm saying that's uh that's literally time the times you see that but the, the, the when you when you see that time when you're in the time of seeing that when you in the, in a time I mean is is what um ice which is ice or i thought but which is what um Occurrence. So when the occurrence happen, when you see the clock make one four four, all right. When in the center in the synonym to occurrence is event. So in the event of seeing that on the clock, uh, the happening. Another another synonym is phenomenon. Phenomenon, a fact or situation that is is observed to exist or happen, especially one whose cause or explanation is in question. See that? What are we trying to get into? So the Lord, He's gave He's gave us credence so far in this lesson that what time does definitely time does tell. Time does tell. See that? <laughs> and and. And and it's 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 so spiritual because you literally are in the moment when uh when you you are literally in the moment when you see that happen when you you are an event when that when you when you are literally in the moment of that occurrence that event um of seeing that time that you know. And that is in question, which is what? An occurrence, a phenomenon. That whole moment is a phenomenon. It's basically because it's in question for what? For why you are seeing this, man. You know, on why you are seeing this. Let me get the word again. Let me get the word again. Strong's definition is what? It says, uh, now, when, after, certain, continuously, continually, always. That's what time means. Now, we're going to come back here. So the scriptures give credence to time telling, all right? 
And it's definitely uh, heavy because the moments when you see that are the occurrences when that happened, it's literally translates to a phenomenon because it's in question for why you are seeing that. Well, let's get this. This is Psalms 105 and 19 until night. Psalms 105 and 19 until the time that his word came. So it was a time set for the word to come. You know, it says the word of the Lord tried him. What's the word? And what was the word? The word is the words of this book, man. You see what I'm saying? The vision of all. You know, so that means this word will have to speak to this situation of seeing this 144. You see what I'm saying? And the 144 is what? Mm -hmm. The 144 is those chosen and selected. You see what I'm saying? Which we went over. The highest conceivable office. You know, the highest of its kind. You see what I'm saying? The highest of its kind. Of the Israelites. It's The kind would be the Israelites. Those that believe what you got. And, you know, of your how about from y'all shot. But you got that. A hierarchy among that. You know, the best grade, if you will. So let's go here and get the word and see if it speaks to that. Second Ezra 16 and 67. Behold, God himself, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmael Shah is the judge. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities, iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall God, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmael Shah, lead you forth and deliver you from all, all trouble. See that? And that would be what? Obviously, uh, given to the elect, the 144,000. And obviously the one third as well, but obviously, definitely the 144,000. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in in derision and in reproach and trod it underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So there it is. So it's a time that's gonna bring forth the set time to favor Zion, to favor the uh, the elect, the one third, the elect one third uh, of because all of these uh, are chosen, but specifically, you know, it's going into the 144,000 when we mention that word elect. But nonetheless, all of those that will be saved from the destruction is 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 going to be put in position to bring forth what we read in Psalms, which is the set time to favor Zion, in which the Lord is going to what deliver us, and that's going to be due to um, you know the defamation. And, you know, the persecution of us, because we believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. They label us a terrorist group and everything. And they're going to bring out all the work, will works, delivering people up. Man, going to be getting delivered up, women, children, of um, those that the Lord is going to save. You see what I'm saying? Now, we just read it's a distinction upon these people. And that's something known as the 144,000, which is the highest grade of its kind. You see what I'm saying? Now, when you go into this, the whole uh, concept of time telling, all right, which the scriptures just proved to give reverence to, it's one thing that you cannot miss when going into this. And that's what? That's a thing. You see that? So Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season, you see, which denotes time as well. And it's based upon time. The, the, the concept of time is within seasons. It says, so to, to everything there is a season. So, and a time to every purpose under, under the heaven. Now, when we get that word thing, thing, an object that one need not cannot or does not wish to give a specific name to. So when you see that 144,000, 
when that occurrence happens, you know, that phenomenon, something you can't put your finger on, that's the very instance of what a thing is. That's obviously a thing. It's just this thing that be happening. Well, a thing is what? An object that one need not, cannot, or does not wish to give a specific name to. Because you don't know, and that's, that's exactly what the scriptures talk about, the resemblance of one thing to another. You don't know what to call that. Well, we don't, you don't know how to take it. You see what I'm saying? Because even if you want to be like, uh, well, this is a notion I could be up to 144,000 or I might be, it might be some exhortation or strengthening or reminding or what's real, you know, some, some uh, et cetera, right? Even still with that, it's just a thing, which is something you, you a specific name hasn't been given to. Because even denoting that, even thinking that, the thing with that is no one knows who the 144,000 going to be. So I want to say that too. We dare not make ourselves of that number as uh, it says, you know, paraphrasing. But see that? So it's interesting on how you can go about it and take it. Because that's exactly what a thing is, if you follow me. This is Sirach 34 and 3. The resemblance, the vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another. So it's kind of like this kind of like a uh, you know, because what's the purpose of a vision? To show you what's going on. You see what I'm saying? So this is not necessarily a vision, but that's the purpose of visions. Visions of dream, the visions of dreams, the visuals of dreams is what is the resemblance of one thing to another. So it show you what one thing look like in comparison to another. You see that even as the likeness of a face to a face. So it's like mirroring something. You see what I'm saying? And truly what? So when you see 144,000, that's an enigma because you don't know who they're going to be, man. You see what I'm saying? So that's a reminder of that because that's a thing. You see what I'm saying? And that's exactly what the scripture is saying. All right. But does that leave you stooped? No. Time is telling you that you don't know who that's going to be, man. You see what I'm saying? It's a reminder of it, man. All right. So let me grab this, this scripture real quick. 3 and 11. He hath made everything beautiful. In his time, you see, so it's it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see that man, you know, that specific that now that you know how to take it, it's in one sense this level one we gonna get this level one and two really, but and we gonna get three to top it off. But it's a beautiful thing to see, um, this occurrence, aka phenomenon, you know, of this one four four everywhere sequence on the clock etc you see what i'm saying but it's something you can't outright put your your finger on you see what i'm saying but that's what that's reminding you of that's why that's beautiful because you don't know so what is that ultimately telling you well we're gonna go back into the word time real quick because time tells it says also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God, the Heavenly Father, make it from the beginning to the end. So people in the world, they never going to notice what's really going on if they're in the world. You see what I'm saying? And obviously, that's how the Father wanted. So you got like a worldly understanding on looking at that. And Lord willing, this is an increase on how we can look at it after this lesson. You see what I'm saying? Now... What we're going to do is we're going to go back into that word time. Because time tell, right? So how do you ultimately are to take it in Psalms 102 and 13? All right. You get ait or aita. Now we're going to go to the Jesenius Hebrew Chaldee lexicon. And it says what? From the true derivation of the world having been overlooked even by the ancients. It says time. Especially a fit or proper time 
an opportunity. So that's what it's telling you. An opportunity for what? Colossians 3 and 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God. Because the scriptures say, Paul said, 2 Corinthians 10 and 12, for we dare not make ourselves, I'm actually start in uh, 6, and having in readiness, in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled, because that's going to be the power of the 144,000. Do you look on things? Do you look on things after the outward appearance? Including when you see that occurrence, man, when that occurrence happens. It says, this occurrence happens. If any man trusts to himself that he is a Mashiach, let him think, think, let him, let him of himself think this again, that as he is a Mashiach, so even so we are a Mashiach. For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord hath given us, yet you able to teach and know what's going on for edification and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed. So, yeah, you can say that we're doing the most and et cetera. Like Paul was basically saying that I might not seem as I will terrify you by letters. You see what I'm saying? That ain't, you know, really the the, 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 the point of the highest office. That's not, that's not the highest office, not necessarily seen in that. It says for his letters say they are weighty and powerful and his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. But such and one think this. That such as we are in the word by letter when we are present, such will we be also indeed when we are present. See, it's about actions. It says, for we do dare not make ourselves of that number. You see what I'm saying? Like we know we're going to be at honey for 4,000 regardless of the position and life, man. You seeing that because you doing the work, etc. Where you in, other people not. There's only so many people that's left. It got to be me. No, for we dare not make ourselves out of that number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. You see, for we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of God's rule, which is his word and understanding that you have with it, which God had distributed to us a measure to reach even unto you. So there it is, man. So nonetheless, no one knows who the elect, elect are. So this is why that thing is uh, what? Something that's not given a name to. Every time you see that, that's a thing that happens, right? Now, the 144, if you go back into the time, that's a time that you see. Well, time is Aita or Ait, and it means what? When you go into the Strong's Hebrew child's, uh, the Hebrew, Hebrew uh, child lexicon, it says an opportunity. Why? Because no one knows. So it's a reminder. It's an opportunity because you don't know. So since you don't know, what are we to do? Colossians 3 and 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect. That's what is a, a reminder. That's the opportunity. Because you only got so much time to do that. You see what I'm saying? To put on, therefore, as the elect, 144,000. Every time you see that time, you see that? It's a reminder it's a, of an opportunity to do what? Because you don't know. But this is how you can manifest it. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, holy and beloved, vows of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. You see what I'm saying? So time tells, man, if you're gonna do that. That's an opportunity is based upon time. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. This is second Ezra and 70, I'm going to continue it. For there shall be in every place and in, in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And fearing the Lord is obeying his word, doing what he says. So put on there for us the elect. When you see that, it says they, that's a reminder of opportunity for that man, which is just time. Time tells. It says time will tell. It says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashmiel shot, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known. So that's going to be a time when this happens, man. To who? Those the Lord is going to save. And of those, it's a, it's a, it's a, though of that kind of people that's going to have this happen to them, or to the, the Israelites the Lord is going to save, there's a highest conceivable office among these people. It's a distinct kind of them. 
that's actually the 144,000. That's actually going to uh, compile it to be the 144,000. All of these different type of individuals found amongst these kind of people having this happen to kind of Israelites that, ha that will have this happen to them. That's in on Yahweh Bashem al -Shah. It says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. See that? And that time, it says, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. See that? So that's that. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. See? So be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For God is your guide and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Lay not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities uh, lift up themselves. So when that time come and you putting on as the elect, that's going to get you what? The criteria to be delivered and saved. You see what I'm saying? And once all that happened, that's when time will tell, man. So time, time tells, man. Time will tell, man. See that? So that 144,000 is a reminder. It's an opportunity for you to do what you need to do for when this time come, man. And then it's going to tell right then. All that, or whatever you do in that time and during that, that time period, from this time period on forward to that, it's going to tell who the 144,000 is, man. All right, so long, Lord, when it's bad or fine, shalom.